Welcome to a new video. In this video we are going to talk about data visualization with Seaborn. Firstly let's start by talking about Seaborn. Seaborn is a powerful data visualization library in Python built on top of Matplotlib. It provides a high level interface for creating attractive and informative statistical graphics. We are going to import pandas, of course Seaborn and Matplotlib. And we are going to run this cell. I'm going to create an easy example dataset for this course for it to be simple and understandable. I'm just going to copy paste for not taking too much time from the video. I'm going to paste and run this cell. We have category values, three values, and we turn them into pandas data frame. And now we can start. We are going to start with bar plot. I'm going to create the plots, then I will talk about them. Let's start by creating bar plot by SNS bar plot. We are going to say X is going to be equal to the category category and Y is going to be equal to the let's say value one and we are going to set data and let's give the title bar plot X label category Y label value 1 and we are going to say plt.show or displaying it. Here it is. A bar plot is a simple and effective way to display categorical data. In this visualization, each category is represented on the x-axis and corresponding numerical values are displayed as bars on the y-axis. The height of each bar represents the value of the respective category. It's particularly useful for comparing multiple categories and identifying trends or disparities between them. The bar plot created with Seaborn showcases the relationship between category variable and the value 1 variable. By analyzing this visualization, one can easily observe the varying values of different categories and discover any patterns or significant differences. Now we are going to talk about scatter plots. For creating a scatter plot, we are going to say SNS scatter plot. Let's set x as value 1 and y as value 2. And we are going to set hue here, category. And we are going to set our data, of course. Now give it a title like scatter plot and x label as value 1, y label value 2. Let's add legend to this. Title is going to be equal to the category. And let's use plt.show for displaying it. I need to use capital letter on value 1. I made a typo and we are going to run this. Here it is. A scatter plot is employed to explore the relationship between two numerical variables. In this representation, the value 1 variable is plotted on the x-axis and the value 2 variable on the y-axis. Each data point is marked accordingly. By adding the category dimension as the hue, the scatter plot covers the points based on their category affiliation. This enables the viewer to discard any correlation between value 1 and value 2, as well as identifying groupings or clusters based on the category. Scatter plots are useful when studying distribution and possible connections between two continuous variables. Now we are going to talk about line plot. For this, we are going to say sns.lineplot x is going to be equal to the category and y is going to be equal to the value 1. Data is going to be equal to the data frame. And let's set marker as this. We are going to say plt.title line plot plt.xlabel value 1 and plt.ylabel I'm sorry, our x label was the category and this one is the value 1 and we are going to display this. Line plots are excellent for disputing trends and challenges in data over time or continuous intervals. In this representation, the category variable is displayed on the x-axis and the value 1 variable on the y-axis. Each category's value is connected by a line 
highlighting how the value one chains across different categories. With markers at data points, the line plot emphasizes individual values. This visualization effectively showcases trends or shifts in value one and allows easy comparison between categories. Line plots are valuable in identifying patterns, seasonal variations or any systematic fluctuations within the data. Now we are going to talk about heat maps. Let's create it. We are going to use sns.heatmap for this and we are going to say data frame value 1 let's take off them value 2 and value 3 and we are going to use the correlation here and let's say anot is true and cover map is cool warm and let's give a title to this as heat map and we are going to display this like this Heat maps provide a visual representation of the relationships between multiple variables by using colors to indicate the magnitude of values. In this example, the correlation matrix of value 1, value 2 and value 3 is displayed in a heat map. The diagonal line appears in a uniform color as it represents the correlation of a variable with itself, which is always perfect. The perfect means correlation coefficient is equals to 1. It takes values between minus 1 and positive 1. Minus 1 means perfect negative relationship, which means they are moving in a different ways but together. The 1 means they are positively perfectly correlated, which means they are tend to move together. Non-diagonal cells are shaded differently based on the correlation coefficient, allowing easy detection of strong positive or negative correlations. Heat maps are particularly useful when dealing with large datasets and exploring the relationships between multiple variables simultaneously. Now we are going to talk about pair plot. For this, we are going to say sns.payerplot data frame Q is going to be equal to the category, and let's set this as we are going to say. Let's set y as 1.02 and we are going to display this. A pair plot is a comprehensive visualization that displays pairwise relationships between multiple numerical variables in a dataset. Each numerical variable is plotted against every other numerical variable, forming a grid of scalar plots. In this example, the value 1, value 2, and value 3 variables are compared against each other. The diagonal of the pair plot shows kernel density plots, providing the univariate distribution of each variable. Pair plots are valuable for gaining a quick overview of potential correlations and trends among multiple variables, making them especially useful for exploratory data analysis. Now we are going to talk about count plot. For this, we are going to say SNS count plot x is going to be equal to the category and data is going to be equal to the data frame. We are going to use plt.title count plot. We are going to add x label category and y label count. Let's use plt.show also and we are going to run this. A count plot is a bar plot that shows the frequency of occurrences of each category in a categorical variable. It displays the number of instances of each category, making it simple to compare the counts and identify the most common categories. In this example, the count plot reveals the number of occurrences of each category. If you had two of the A categories, it was going to display two instead of one. Count plots are ideal for summarizing categorical data and gaining a quick understanding of class imbalances or dominant categories. Now we are going to talk about kernel density estimation plots. For this, we are going to say sns.kernel density estimation plot data is going to be equal to the data frame value 1, value 2, and value. Three, and we are going to use fill true here and let's say plt.title 
kernel density estimation plot and we are going to use plt.show KD plots are used to visualize the probability density function of a continuous variable. This plot represents the smoothed version of a histogram and provides insights into data's underlying distribution. In this example, the KD plot showcases the estimated density of the value 1, value 2 and value 3 variables. These plots are particularly useful for understanding the continuous data's overall distribution and can reveal patterns that might be less apparent in traditional histograms. Now for the final, we are going to talk about regression plots. For this, we are going to say FNS regression plot. We are going to set x as value 1 and y as value 2 and let's set our data and we are going to add markers also for this one we are going to say oh here we are going to say plt.title regression plot x label equals to the value 1 and y label equals to the value 2 and we are going to use plt show for the last time in the video a reg plot short for regression plot displays the relationship between two numerical variables along with the best fit regression line. It's used to visualize the correlation between two variables and determine if a linear relationship exists. In this example, the rig plot demonstrates the relationship between value 1 and value 2. The regression line helps understand the overall trend between the variables, indicating whether they have a positive or negative correlation. Regression plots are useful for identifying associations between two continuous variables and assessing the strength of the relationship. That was all for this video. I'm creating content related to data science. If you want to see more data science content in your YouTube feed, you can subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.